Si bien aimé la street, c'est moi, on dirige. Ah, um, this is uh, Kingsley, Kaine, the other one, Mado, bringing a report to you, though it's raining. Um, I just want to give a brief. Uh, a brief uh, look at what those are they like for today. Just take a, a glimpse look at our environment today. You know? There is our car road. Though it's raining. But I just want to take a walk to some area so that you guys can actually see as it is this morning. I'm just uh, kind of uh, taking a walk in the rain only to bring to you guys the happenings around the Blue Sokaro. I am heading towards uh, Savoy as you all can see. You can see how busy the road is, though as of now, all the shops in Oka Road, still the same thing, everywhere is locked. Everywhere is locked. Mm. And this is time Monday. And uh, I wouldn't know how tomorrow will look after today. But at the same time, you guys should at, at least take a little look on our environment. No shop is open. Every shop is locked. No? This shit, man. Now, many now, my come on, when I'm here, I'm here. I do it easy. But I had to. To do journalism. Journalism is not. Uh, it's not a karamata, you know? Journalism is not a karamata. So, we are here to inform our people. Those that are not, you know, are not, uh, how will I put it now? Those that are not informed, the reason why you see us is that we are only here to inform those who are not informed. As you can see the happenings in Oka Road. So, these are cities. I'm just bringing it to your doorstep so that you see the, how everywhere is looking this morning. Though it's raining. It's raining. Even now in Kakana, few of them that are actually still, you know? So the game is, I'm walking towards, uh, what is it called? Towards uh, Savoy Junction. I'll be taking a look at Enugu Road, taking a look at uh, some areas. I will be wanting, I don't know if this guy is online, Afri Abi Ari Afri Atoka to actually give us updates on what is actually playing out in Oka, you know? So, there is a game. Watching out and reporting to you guys how the environment is looking. Everywhere, as you can see, is under lock and key. Yep. Even now, I'm just approaching Savoy Junction. You know? On your own, you can see how busy the road is looking this morning. All the shops, all the car shops, all the attic shops, 
the pharmacy, everywhere. It's locked, the filling station, you know? Everywhere is there. Uh, everywhere is actually, everywhere is actually locked. Now you can see few people on the road. Take a look at the environment. This is a street that is heading to what I was. The gate is permanently shut. Simply mean nobody's coming out. You know? The gate is normally open by 6, 5.36. Now this is the uh, edges in EI, edges in Philly Station. The nest is rain oil. You know? Wow. As a many years when I don't know how to come outside. But finally I'm out to actually take a little update. To take a little update on the happenings in our environment. Though it has been said that IPOP leadership have actually suspended every Monday sit at home, which they give their press statement that tomorrow being 14th of September will be a sit at home in remembrance of those that were killed on 14th September 2017 17 at Afari Kui Now, Many are expected that today will be a working day, why tomorrow will be a day to observe. But the people are sitting at home, both the Monday and at the same time, they will still be sitting at home both the Tuesday. So, the governor of Anambra said, in the person of Willie Obiano, called a security council meeting, calling on all the security heads and bank managers instructing and all the home market leaders instructing them to make sure that business activities resume today being 13th of September. Despite all they have discussed, despite the agreement, as you can see, today no one is out. All the market leaders are in their houses. You know, the bank managers, I don't know, maybe later in the day we'll be, we'll be getting information from them to know how they manage to operate today. Because one thing I've come to understand is that a ghost and a, an institution like financial institution should be very careful in a situation like this. Because if you are you, with the, with the kind of situation we are face to face with now, if you don't trade carefully, they might be a victim of evil circumstances surrounding this whole scenario. So, uh, that is all I can say. Now I'm at, uh, I'm approaching uh, there is a sick roundabout, meaning I'm on the moment now. My video might not be long this morning because it's raining. I'm at sick roundabout. Mm, I just want to capture Enugu Road. I just want to take a, a picture of Enugu Road and uh, and the Vera. I just want to take a picture of Enugu Road and the Vera. So when you look at, we are we are zig around about now. Let me take the other hand. First and foremost, let me take update as it is. Now the place I'm heading now is uh, people actually coming from Enugu. We're gonna be looking at the bus stop. This is Zik Roundabout. This one is uh, an entrance. If you're coming from Enugu, you can see how it is. The update. If you're familiar with this road, you know that this place is a very busy spot where we have Otolo cars and all that. This place is a very busy stop, spot, but people are not actually out. Mm. Yes, the place we are now is a Borromeo bus stop. I'll be showing you guys some stuff. This place in Enyensobu.
Eban and Yenso, but look at it now. This Boromir, Boromir Boston. Ah, hey, yeah. Yeah, who's on this year? You see a lot of as you can see. Everybody know here now they too busy, too busy to ignore. But the truth is that the way if any men now, you can see everywhere they come, quiet, the road is deserted, everybody is at home. I keep asking myself what is actually happening in Anambra State, in the eastern region. We talk about Anambra, Imo, Enugu, Bayasa, Enugu. About uh, about in states, Abia states, these areas, they are observing indoor today. Tomorrow, Tuesday, they will be indoor. Accordingly, though, each of the state, the government, and the governor has issued a statement that people should ignore the directive of IPOB and go about their normal businesses, as they will provide security personnel that will actually uh, you know secure life and properties of people of indigents now I'm asking again why are the indigents why did they decide to be indoor why are they keeping mood why are they not going according to the directive of the governors what is actually happening why are they adhering to the law um, to the directive of IPOBs and her leadership. Why, 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 why? You can see. Yeah, I'm doing this here. Look where I'm This, this, we are also. The road coming from Enugu. You know, I just want to capture it very well so that you can get the details. So that you can get the details. Now they go do the Enugu card. What says the time now? <laughs> Look at it now. This is a nine, three minutes after nine. They go do Kuse Enugu now. This is the road heading to New Pass. If you call them, a very busy road. The watch I get here, the one leading to Omoba Fest 2 is locked. What is actually happening? Take a look at the deserted road. Now, let me take a, a, a shot on that part going to, what is it called? On that part going to Mbo. On that part going to Mbo. I mean, remember I said I won't be taking long because it's raining. I just want to take a shot of some, you know, silly busy road and junction to actually update you guys on the happenings as far as our environment is concerned this morning. As you can see, these ones are the road if you're coming from on nature going to Enugu, if you call the now. Both on nature south, their company is under lock and key. You know? Yeah, the terrible. This is terrible, this is terrible, this is terrible, this is terrible. And tomorrow people will still be sitting at home. Why is it that the people are not adhering to the directive of the state governors and, you know, and the security? What is actually happening? Does it actually mean that the state governors have lost her grip? You know, who are the people giving directive on this land now today? Who are the owners of the land today? You know, it's the one the more. Now, this is a road heading to Army Barrack. This is a road heading to Army Barrack. This is a road heading to Army Barrack. That is heading to Opi Waker. If you are coming from Head Bridge, Open this Head Bridge, Abogote Nugu. This is Head Bridge, Abogote Army Barrack. This is Head Bridge, the Jempo. This is the way he is in Abogote. Now you can see how busy the road do there. Despite the warnings, maybe after the rain, I'll be visiting some of the bank 
to actually obtain updates from their daily activities. I am men because I am an, one of the institution, government in a, in a instruction, what the banks that in no condition should they shut their bank. And I will be looking at those areas today. So, one name of the other is you do. Ndi Ibo Kezi, on one I like Rosego. Eh? Afego, Jugo Ndi Ibo. This is my golden question. My golden question this morning is that Afego, or Jugo Ndi Ibo. Ndi Ibo, Afego, Jugo Uno. On one I like Rosego, what is actually happening? Why are you people locking your shop? Eh? What is the shop on Ndibo? I can give you a message. I feel good. You go on now. Hmm? I feel good. You go on Ndibo. This is what I'm asking. I have a man for who can carry a bunch of people. And I would have loved to take a little track. Can I go to a people? Can I make a call? But with what I'm seeing here, there is no doubt. Now, everywhere in Anambra, they ground dead. Even in Oka. Hopefully, I believe we'll be getting a report from Oka soon. Soon to update the, the, the business daily activities in Oka, that the capital of the state, to actually know the situation and the position of things there. But I'm reporting live from the city of Anamonicha, precisely all the major road connecting to Eva Busy Marques in Anambra is on a desert mode. Now I take it again back. This is where I'm coming from. You can see how busy they are. So, look at the road. Now this way now, you are seeing now is heading to Barak. This one is heading to Barak. If we call it. Everywhere the pacha pacha. This one is people coming from Upi Waker. People coming from Barak, Upi Waker. Head bridge. If we go to Cabin in it. Everywhere now, under lock and key. Now, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but we know as of yesterday there is a strong warning from the governor that everybody should go to their normal business. I ask a golden question that I'm asking this morning. You know? Everywhere you look, to they na phone and they put a bully lo. Kaka no ebu na zena ya. You know, is uh, there is something we cannot we cannot fight on. Ndi ba jolego, ibo jolego. I am na zikranda about again. Now. I'll be taking a view down that walker road. Yeah, walker road now that I'm viewing. Now, this road is a major road linking to Ochanja, Main Market, Ose. You can connect from here to Head Bridge as well. Look at the road. Look at the road now. You'll understand how the thing is playing. I don't know. I'll be coming back to you guys, but before now, if you are privileged to be part of this video, share it. Share the video. Share the video. Why people join us. Uh, in a short moment, I'll be going off offline to resume back again. Uh, maybe after the rain might have subsided. I want to know I'm going to go to the you can do that. So you look at the environment. Everywhere, filling station, everywhere they locked. Nothing is happening. So I'll be going offline to actually connect to our brothers who will be updating us from Oka, people that will be updating us from Imo State, those that will be updating us from Abia, Enugu. 
so that we will gather our information as everything is going today. So that is just that is just the truth. That is just the truth. It is not easy. It is not easy. But they open easy. Look at the road. How busy the road is. Share the program. Share this video to update the world. Let me take a, a look again at my back. This is Boromir Roundabout. Ever busy bus stop. You see how scanty is looking. You see how now, take a look at the shops you see here. None of the shop is open. Take a look at Philly Station. Everywhere is under lock and key. But the state governor has actually issued a directive that everybody should go about their business as it were that today being 13th. But we are now, this is um, 12 minutes after 9. The, the whole environment is still looking the way it's looking now. So what are we going to call it? Are people going to be coming out by 10 o'clock? Or by 11 o'clock? Or people have decided to keep or stay at home? This is where I'll be coming to an end of this morning breakfast update. I'll be coming back to you guys. One law of Umundem. God bless every one of you. I remain my humble self speaking for you, working for everybody, uniting the evils, and making sure that our voice are heard. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Umundem, until I come your way again.